Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to Lily's Design. Today, I will show you how to rhinestone a face mask, and you can do the same process on a shirt or any item that is made of fabric. If you'd like to make the same face mask as this one, you will find a link down below in the description. This mask has a filter pocket in the back, and you'll notice there's an opening on each side, so you could easily place your filter in. Up on top here is a nose bridge. Let's get started blinging your face mask. The supplies you will need is hot fix rhinestones and transfer film. I picked these both up on Amazon and I'll list it down below so you could easily find them. For the rhinestone kit, I paid $10.69 and you get over 7,200 rhinestones. The transfer film was about $9.50 and you get 10 feet by 12 and a half inches. Go ahead and print my free pattern. It's down below in the description. Or if you like, you can find your own design and just place the stones along the line. Cut a piece of transfer paper bigger than your design. Peel back the paper and place the sticky side up over your design. Now tape it down. And I like to tape only the top two corners. This way I can check on my design every now and then. But if you like, you could tape all four corners. I will place my back end right under my heart. This way I'll have a place to rest my hand down. We will be using the three millimeter rhinestone. I like to fill the inside first and then work on the outside. Now you can choose to use the tweezer or the pencil. I'll show you with both. Pick up the rhinestone with the adhesive facing up. Shiny side should be facing down. And place it on your design. I'm not a huge fan of these tweezers when you're picking up the rhinestone, but that's a personal preference. I do like the white pencil that comes included with my kit. If you don't have a white pencil like this, and not any old white pencil will work. These come in the kits and they are coated with something. What you can do is take a pencil or a pointy stick and dip it in some hot candle wax, let it dry, and that will work. If you're having a hard time picking up the stones with the pencil, grab a piece of paper, color on it. This way it will flatten out the point. To move the video along, I will fast forward this part of me placing the rhinestone down. When you are finished placing all the rhinestones, you want to adjust any that are out of place. Place your design down, and I place parchment paper on top to help protect against heat marks. Set your iron according to your directions. I used wool setting. Your steam setting is turned off. Hold your iron in place for about 25 to 30 seconds. Then let it sit for a minute to cool and pull back the tape. We are done. It's that simple and easy to do.
I hope you enjoyed this video and free pattern. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Your support and views help me to continue to offer free patterns. Please share my videos in your social media. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.